There were three Bench teams that didn't win the Super Bowl. The 1990 Buffalo Bills. That's the best team in the history of professional sports never to win a championship. Our number three team's lack of a title can be summed up with the two most painful words in Buffalo's history. Wide right. Wide right. Wide right. Wide right. That stuff never goes away. It's like body odor. To live there is to hear that on a, almost a daily basis. Wide right. Wide right. Wide right. Wide right. This is a team that is forever thinking wide right and waking up from nightmares of wide right. And I missed a, a big opportunity today. They don't even let him have buffalo wings. Norwood's doomed forever. He should become a monk. 1990, you kind of got a feeling early in the season that this was going to be their year. They found something that other teams couldn't defend. In the no huddle offense, Kelly to throw again. And it is. The NFL was left flat-footed by Buffalo's K-Gun offense. And I know the Raiders can poo-poo this no-huddle offense, but they've never seen it the way the Bills run it. They just set an offensive pace that made it very hard for defenses to play against. And, done it again. and they had the personnel to make it work. Jim Kelly was a real forceful leader. Stick with him. We're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. And they had Thurman Thomas, who was a very versatile running back. Thurman Thomas, touchdown! They had Andre Reid running the underneath slants. And then you had James Lofton stretching the field. James Lofton breaks another big play for the Bills. That K-Gun offense was good for a long, long time. But the Giants somehow found kind of the antidote to that. This is the Super Bowl. And it's the Giants against the Bills. Norwood's miss was the slamming door on the Bills' Super Bowl prison sentence, but Buffalo had plenty of other reasons for coming up short. Parcell said the only way we could win is control that clock, and he did. Jim Kelly is watching helplessly at the sideline. At the end of the game, you look up, and the Buffalo Bills have only had the ball for 19 minutes. That is truly incredible, that time of possession. That's the one Super Bowl that the Bills lose sleep over. They were better than the Giants. They played 10 times, they would have won seven or eight times. That one play to Mark Ingram. Third and about 13. Help buy them time, and they play keep away. He's got Ingram for maybe a first down. Yes, he's got it. But the Bills' defense weren't the only ones to blame for the loss. I think the rest of the players on that Buffalo offense have some responsibility for the defeat as well. I don't think Jim Kelly did a real good job on that drive. That is a long way to kick a football. Go back and look at the clock when the Bills run their last play. Kelly may spike the ball here. You're telling me that Jim Kelly can't run a play that is going to take four or five or six seconds and the clock is stopped. Make it happen! I've never seen a team more stricken by a loss. It was a heartbreaking way to lose it. That loss to the Giants really ratcheted up the pressure on that team. Why do we deserve to, to, you know, to lose the way we did today? I think if they had gotten that monkey off their back the first time, we might be looking back at the early 90s as a period when we saw the greatest team of all time.